Vancouver real estate market is like a coffee, very addictive. How we mask? Because once you hit those highs, anything resembling normalcy feels like a downer. The example of downtown condo market, historical chart showing steady growth for the past five years. However, anyone following the stock market, which has lots of similarity to real estate, knows this has been vol volatility in the past two years. Before we dive in, if you like in-depth analysis and stats, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't hesitate to leave a comment below. My videos are to help educate consumer like yourself so you can make informed decision in this challenging market. Okay, story time. I have a friend who was, in a, who was a renter. During the last slowdown in 2010, he insisted prices would continue to drop. You know what? He's still renting. Personally, I bought and sold, sold several properties and adjusted with the market condition because adjusting with the market is a prudent course of action. I learned also that 80% of people wait to buy real estate. The 20% remaining buy real estate and wait. That's the difference. So where are the opportunities? Let's start with those market trend charts for attach and detach housing. We see sell prices dropping, inventory leveling, and sales slowing down. Do you think there are opportunities out there? You bet there are. Furthermore, most sales happen in the spring market. At the macro level, the strength of the market is defined by months of inventory, which stands for MOI. Remember, from 1 to 5, it's considered a balanced market. From 6 to 10, it's a buyer's market. Since 80% of the buyers are still waiting for prices to come down or are in summer location, do you see a windows opportunity to get good values, either for detached or townhome? Answer lies within you. My job is to provide the data to make an educated decision. Every person buys for different reasons, and the best to set down with the professional to make a sense of what this means to you exactly and have an action plan. If you like to wait, it's okay as well, but should not say I should have, would have, or could have, like my friend, because you know what? He just signed one year lease. I leave you with a snapshot of detached properties. If you live in a strata and you want to finally buy your own home, as a condo market, perhaps you are an investor or first time buyer, where the opportunities may lie within you. I have stats for various parts of Vancouver. This video is for illustration only. Please send me an email, I will send you the full copy. Do you see opportunities in Collingwood, where two out of 84 homes sold in June? I bet some sold between 900 and a million dollars. You prefer a condo for downsizing, investment, first time buyer? Do you see opportunities in South Granville area where three out of 58 homes sold? And some probably within 400 to 600,000 range. The title of this video is Get Rich Slow, but some consumers want to live in Yelltown to pay Marple prices without disrespect for Marple appeal. Start small and a real estate ladder will wake you, work your way up. Hope this video was helpful. Feel free to email me below. P.S. If you are considering moving and need to sell, opportunities are still there. Not always a loss because sell low, buy low. There's a potential gain. Let's say if you sell in Vancouver, move to Fraser Valley or Kelowna, contact me for an evaluation to see how my marketing plan helps many consumers. 